crux into the cross arm very fast. Yeah, we can work this hold. David's going to look like he's really struggling to keep that arm of his because he's not going to submit, he's going to lose the match. Yeah. His first idea of getting out of this hold, he's going to pull it, roll up, try and pin me. One, two, whoa! Nah, he's not getting the win that easy. Again, he goes back to fighting this arm because he don't want to be submitted. Yeah. His next idea is going to roll back. So as he rolls back, still got the arm. As he comes back into the cross arm breaker. And again, he's still keeping that arm. He's you don't want to get submitted, so he's going to hold on to that arm. That's a good point to make when somebody's in my position. So always keep fighting, because this is a legitimate hold, remember, so we really don't want to be caught. So when we're here, you shouldn't be caught flat. Always fighting, keeping them shoulders off the mat, looking for something else where we can go. So I might decide I want to come up and try this again. I've done it once before, so we just cleared up to it. So we we'll keep fighting, we we'll keep fighting until I try something else. Come back around. You see where this foot is on the back of my head? That's a prime move for me to take to break me out of this hole. So there, we've got that foot. So now I need to apply the pressure. So we just step around and then just put it out there. So we can work this all where we are. Where we are. For a few minutes or so, until we get to the point where we want to start bringing the pace back up again. So from there to transition, is there, you flick that to let go, and we're in the headlock. Yeah, we're back on the floor, we're working, we're working, we're working, until we start to stand up. So we're up, we're up. Now everyone can see what we're doing. Walk around, show everyone. Show everyone, look. Back down. Yeah? Luke's still fighting. Still fighting. Stand back up again. Maybe Luke tries to count by lifting me up. No. Maybe he tries it again. No. No, it tries to catch me off guard, doesn't it? First time. Oh, this time, we got a straight oh, oh. We got a natural progression a series of legitimate holes that we can play into the professional market. Make it look like we're actually having a scrap. Yeah. And that lasted, and we just demonstrated, that lasted a good like minute, two minutes. We can drag that on three, four, five minutes at the start of the match. Like, I was just rolling around with Luke and Luke and I said, you don't have to just go in and lock up. Well, you take, the, you take that spin straight away. No, we can tease it a little bit, you know? And uh, you go in, Luke and Luke just tries to shoot on me first. You know, we're out. Just tell, tell the audience kind of what you're going for, because then when you do do the move, they already know what's going on. You know? I go in for it. You know, let everybody know your business. Don't let me lock up. You know? Boom. Oh. You know? Because he's done me on that point. Now we'll go in and do it. Yeah? 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 Yeah?
do traditional moves from here to the face lock and they'll literally just get up and walk around. Now, seriously, if someone was controlling you like this and I was to just get up and walk around, I would expect him to get up and walk away because I've let him go. Essentially, what we're trying to do is keep the pressure, keep control of you all the time. Why don't we do the chest? Come back Never give him a chance to escape.